Hey, so doing an update on uranium and probabilities for accumulation. So this one gets complicated. Uh, there are obviously uh, massive reasons why you should be interested in uranium as an uh, alternate green energy source where the only fear is ultimately based around, <laughs> you guessed it, nuclear explosion, right? Everyone's afraid of it. However, there's been three cases and the ratio of health and risk to uh, uranium are obviously massively lower than using carbon-based fuels. Uh, but I, I think ultimately, if you're really serious about trying to uh, fix the earth by trying to reduce carbon footprints, uh, but you actually care about human humanity, you're some form of humanist, then uh, you're very much going to need to think about uranium. Uh, but we see that a lot of European nations are having a hard time accepting it because they placed such a uh, you know green narrative against uranium's role. Now, uh, I got very lucky here by having a buddy of mine really turn me on to uh, how uranium was going to be blowing up and I accumulated down here. So for me, this isn't too concerning, but for people who want to accumulate, uh, I'll take a note from um, uh, Eric Sprott uh, saying that basically if you were to accumulate, now would be a good time. However, um, the, the, the best time was yesterday kind of statement. Uh, basically, um, it, I'd be, if you already have exposure, I would wait for some lower time preference or a longer time preference uh, performance here because this uh, type of trend typically leads to some type of bear market in here. And if we're expecting speculation to go down and we're expect and we're seeing all these news of them shutting down, uh, shutting down plants, there's a high probability that we're going to see a little bit of a bear market. I, I think it's an inevitability that uranium prices do rise because they are produced. It is produced uh, at a loss uh, globally. Um, but the news in Kazakhstan sent up this giant trading volume and clearly we really couldn't breach much further than here. And so to me, this is a bear flag right now. And so I'd expect a price return to get us right around, you know, down into this range. Uh, this is on log, we'll do it on linear. Uh, but either way, you're still seeing the same same trend problem, right? Like we're going to end up somewhere down here for a bear market and possibly lower. Um, and and I, I know that that might be something bad for uranium bulls, but this is a good, if you're really a true bull in a long-term investment like uranium, then you should be expecting lower prices and then paying for uh, it at a lower price. Now I exited most of my positions uh, around this range and a little bit of it uh, back here because it just seemed weak to me. Uh, we go back to the log on the uranium ETF and you see that we were touching up here. And so I was like, oh, this is this is not good. Even though Sprott got listed, we saw weakness. And I, I just see this as overall, we're gonna see a downside. Now, entry points, this is the uranium ETF. This is just how global uranium is priced essentially uh, as an ETF for access to uh, the supply and demand curve. But let's do the leveraged trades. You have a royalty company, uh, UEC. Um, obviously, massive outperformance to uh, the uranium ETF in terms of percentage return. So uh, I would be watching to see if you can accumulate on this line. And if it falls below this line, which if we expect the URA, URA to drop down to here, then we should expect the UEC to drop even lower. We should expect it to enter into this range. Uh, if we do get this to occur, then that's a great accumulation point. Expect that there's a high probability that we end up all the way back down here. And I know that might sound strange to you, but I, I keep seeing this trend occur where where things that should be going up don't stay up, and it's simply because there's too much speculation versus the reality. And this is very much looks like a blow off top uh, back here. So the other great play that I like this one's an over the counter stock is Sky Harbor Resources, and this is an exploration America's company. So there are no uranium producers in the United States, but when you get to nuclear and you start looking at the United States, looking at increasing its nuclear power, uh, especially since the East Coast will very much need it if they're going to if they're going to go green because solar energy is just not plausible all year long when more than half of your days are dark, uh, then you are going to start creating nuclear power as your current alternative because the batteries are not going to store all year long. They're just meant for overnight storage, even if you can get those to be globally functional. So uranium is probably going to continue to perform. Explorers, this is a high risk, high reward probability, but a micro explorer on the over counter trade gives you massive return possibilities. And I'll, I'll highlight that uh, percentage return here just to show how insane it has been. Uh, what do we get? We got 540, 544, 545 percent returns on uh, on uh, collecting Sky Harbor resources. So just saying there is a uh, good opportunity here. Um, but 
I would not necessarily call this an accumulation zone as much as people are hyping it. So thanks for watching.